Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Today is a very special episode with my client, actually, Maytel. And we're going to talk about her success story with her dog after she transitioned her, right? It's a she. Mm -hmm. It's a she, yeah. <laughs> you literally just told me. <laughs> Carnivore diet. She Hi, looks Maytel. like a boy. She's so cute. Hi. Thank you for uh, sharing this with us. Let, let's first start with uh, Lucky's journey and why you eventually chose to transition her to a carnivore diet and the success you found with that. Sure. So we bought Lucky. This is before we knew any better, but we got Lucky from a puppy store. So um, as soon as we got her, she was immediately, like she was six weeks old and she was definitely taken from her mom way too early. Um, and she was very sick. She had pneumonia and... So immediately off the bat, she she was sick. Um, so then it the pet store that we got her from was like, oh, just bring her in and we'll swap her out with a new dog. And I was like, uh, no, I'm not swapping her out with a new dog. I'm like, get out of here. So I took her to a vet. The vet said like, oh, she has pneumonia in her lungs, and you know we don't know if she's gonna make it, and because she was so sickly and so weak, and uh, and she ended up making it, and that's why we named her Lucky. That was that's how she got her name. Um, and then and then what happened was the first year she was okay. And then like after like a year, 13, 14 months in, we noticed like, oh, she has like a few lumps on her body. And like, we don't like, we're not quite sure what it is. So we took her to the vet again. Um, I don't know if you could see, but there's one right here. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we took her to the vet again and the vet told us that she has uh, mast cell tumors. So they, they tested the lumps and, um, and they said that she has mast cells and uh, he said, you know, like speak with an oncologist and then we can go through rounds of chemo. We could cut them out and blah, blah, blah. Um, and then the oncologist was, sorry, I smell like bacon. That's why she wants, she wants to kiss me. <laughs> um, the oncologist told us like, listen, we have to cut out each tumor, test them, see how aggressive it is. And I was like, she's developed like 15 tumors in the past like month. I'm like, I don't think we need to test it to see how aggressive it is. I think we know it's very aggressive. Um, so the vet, so I, I, I decided not to go with chemo. I went with um, a combination of prednisone and another drug that wasn't chemo, but it was, it had similarities to chemo. Um, and Lucky was so sick, so lethargic. Her nose, which is normally black, was white. Um, and she just didn't want to eat. She didn't want to, she didn't want to do nothing. She was just like laying like, like, still all day and um and I said you know what I was like you know what let me let me and then also like at that time I was also getting interested in like eating and you know and I was like maybe it's her food maybe I was researching the raw food diet and I wasn't sure um what to do I just knew that the chemo was not the the prednisone mix that I was I, I had her on was not working so I um uh, I took her off of it because she was like life like it was no point there was I was torturing her for no reason so I took her off and I started off just giving her a chicken breast, you know, I, I replaced her kibble at the time. I was giving her a very expensive kibble too. It was like, it was not cheap. Um, but I just replaced it little by little with chicken breast yeah. and, um, and she was getting better. And then, and then when the, and then I took her to the vet to see like how she was uh, progressing and the vet's like, listen, I don't know. She has like three, three to six months left. So I said, fuck it. I was like, I'm just going to get her filet mignons and give her like the best three months of her life. Like just get her the best meat ever. And, um, and I started, I gave her, I started giving her a lot more beef, like a ton more beef. And, uh, and I saw she was getting better and better and better. And then like three months passed and I was like, okay, she's, and she was like humping and playing and like crazy energy. And I was like, she doesn't look like a dog that's dying. I'm like, she looks like she's okay. And, uh, and then I, and then I, you know, I completely fully transitioned her. I haven't gone fully raw with her yet, just because her stomach and the diarrhea is still all over the place. Mm. Um, but but we, I cook, I cook the chicken that I give her and the beef that I give her, and I give her a lot of organ meats, like a lot of marrow bones, liver, um, I don't know, gizzards, eggs, and uh, eggs. I don't give her eggs just because she has diarrhea. Uh, so the diarrhea is mm. is very hit or miss with her. If it's cooked, yeah. But if it's raw, she kind of has trouble with it. If it's raw tuna or if it's raw eggs? Oh, tuna? No, I haven't tried tuna yet. Um, but eggs, yeah. If it's raw, it'll give her diarrhea. Interesting. And but I think golden doodles in general, like their stomachs are, like assuming it's a like super healthy golden doodle, their stomachs are always generally very finicky. 
how, how long did it take you to fully transition her? I did it, I would say, within like two weeks. Oh. Within two weeks. Like from when I was like weaning her off of kibble just to yeah. full full meat. Yeah. Yeah. And that's and, why I uh, wanted to talk to you about that because this is the phase that I'm in right now with my dog. His name is Hachi and he's 12, 13 years old. So he's getting really mm -hmm. old and he's starting to really cough up a lot, just like almost like a dry cough. And it just breaks my heart like I've never lost anybody you know I'm I'm 36 I've never lost anybody close to me so I don't know what that feels like he's like the closest yeah. mom that I have you know that might potentially so I so then so I decided I'm gonna, okay transition him to a uh, carnivore diet technically he is my stepson's dog so when our step when oh, wow. my, my hubby's son lived with us it was his dog and then obviously you know he moved out and all that stuff but we kept the dog and I'm very attached to him and so yeah. this is the phase that I'm in right now transitioning him to see if that's gonna help give him just a few extra years and better quality of life and um I so yesterday was the full um full carnivore diet and so I gave him a carnivore dog you know carnivore crisps the mm -hmm. so they because yeah. they work with them they send me boxes right and they send me samples yeah. of everything and so now I told them give me more of the dog stuff in your future samples so I started with those and he is loving them and he he's doing That's great awesome. yeah um technically it's not fully carnivore actually I forgot to mention he did have some kibble so I'm transitioning him but I think yesterday he had very little kibble and the most amount of meat you know and then I gave him a tan to a can of tuna and that led it to a tiny bit of diarrhea That's the thing that I'm kind of like you know yeah. is, is, is the diarrhea a problem can you share a little bit yeah so I noticed whenever I deviate um like let's say I'm having pork let's say I try to give her some pork whenever I deviate from so the diet that I have lucky on right now it's either chicken any variation of chicken um as long as it's not fatty meat um but generally she's okay but any variation of chicken beef uh organs any variation of organs and what else do I give her and then uh, I don't throw eggs in and then maybe I'll put sardines in maybe if like I feel like being fancy but then it's it's very very hit or miss with the sardines with oil um, or but with, that's with water with water yeah. yeah yeah but that's lucky that's lucky I have another dog that's a burner doodle mm. she it responds beautifully to no matter what I could feed her like sandals and she'll she's fine like she's right. okay so I have yeah. to try it out and see how he does yeah and yeah. initially even if he does have diarrhea maybe it's okay for a few days until he adapts I don't know right right the diarrhea is okay but what I also do I don't know if you're a fan of this but I'll I'll give if let's say the diarrhea is pretty bad with Lucky I'll give her sweet potato or carrots and that mm -hmm. usually firms things up yeah, I thought about that. I thought keeping or a little bit of rice, uh, the the even the, the, the water that you cook the rice in apparently it helps. So maybe right. maybe right. I'll do that. But I, you know, I don't, I want to try and get maximum results in a strict carnivore diet as quickly as possible. And at the same time, I don't want him, you know, pooping all over the house diarrhea. You know, exactly, like. exactly. Yeah. Uh, but the good news is that conversation with the doctor that I had was mm -hmm. like four years ago. Okay. And Lucky was supposed to, Lucky only, and that was when the doctor told me I had only three months of Lucky before wow. she would pass. Yeah. So she's, <laughs> she's been doing excellent on it. Uh, this, this makes me so, so happy to hear. Yeah. yeah. No that's, yes, yeah, so it's, it's great. So, and like, if you see her playing in the yard, like she's like, I have a puppy that's a year old and she, I would say she has more energy than the puppy. Wow. And, How old is yeah. she now? Lucky is five now. Okay. Wow, yeah. that that makes me so happy to hear, and that's why I wanted you to share that story when you told yeah. me. Uh, yeah, she's <laughs> doing great. Yeah, like every day, I, every day with her, I know is a blessing. So I'm just trying to maximize however long I have with her. But I mean, she's she's seriously doing phenomenally. Wow. Do you add any vitamin or a mineral supplements? I did in the beginning. Well, when I had her on kibble. In the beginning, she never wanted to eat her kibble anyways. So I used to throw in some sardine oil and like um, omega-3 oil in there. Um, but I think just the golden doodle breed itself, it was so finicky with her stomach that everything would just give her diarrhea. Right. So I, I tried that in the beginning and, and I stopped eventually. 
Oh my gosh, he's adorable. And so you named, oh, well, before I ask you about that, um, I've been doing a lot of research recently, obviously, because I'm transitioning my dog. And um, they mentioned that they need calcium from eggshells or sardine bones. And that is something to keep in mind. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I think they get that through the marrow bones, maybe. So you can- Maybe I'm wrong. Bones? I give her marrow bones. Yeah. What kind? Every now and How then. do you prepare? I them? go to, if you go to any supermarket, you'll see it's like, um, it's like these, it's like already sliced. It's about two inches thick. Um, and then I'll just, I'll have her in the kitchen. Like the regular on the ones that we would buy and put them right. in the oven to eat. Like I've right. done that. Okay. So the same right. ones, cut up same ones. bones. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They sell them yeah. in like little trays in Publix. Yeah. yeah. The only thing I would recommend is make, some dogs can handle it, handle it raw lucky again she has a very finicky stomach so i had to bake hers if it's baked it's not a problem okay so put it in the yeah. put the, the, the uh, yeah i would bake it in the right. oven i remember when i first came to miami i was living with my roommate and i never had a dog and one time she saw me give her a dog um leftover bones from like chicken we were eating chicken wings or whatever and like she yeah. freaked out and I, i'll never forget like she was like oh no if it's cooked you never give them because it might have splinters so i'm wondering right. if it's the same right. way with the bone marrow so no absolutely not the bone marrow is fine that's totally fine because that bone is so dense if you think about it, it's from a cow's leg so it's such a dense not like uh, the chicken tiny bone. Bone. right right and then when i was researching it even cuz i'm still trying to get her raw cuz i think it's just so much healthier and i think it's more natural if they eat it raw but i was researching cuz i i tried giving her a chicken bone in the backyard cuz i don't want salmonella all over my house um lucky devoured it and the bone and everything she was great no issues no diarrhea nothing it was excellent the only issue i have with it is the salmonella part of like Right. Because she's right. going to drag it around the house. She's like, oh, I don't want to eat it here. I want to eat it there. Got that's, it. that's the only downside. And, um, with, and with the ones that we get in a tray, I, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go ahead and just do that today. Um, d so you put it in the oven, you bake mm -hmm. it, or, or you don't, I guess, right? It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, and they they like will chew on the bone afterwards. They'll eat the marrow, and then they'll chew on the bones. They'll chew on the bone for like a month. Oh, wow. they never get tired of it. Yeah, they're going to yeah. be obsessed with it. See, my dog is a little bit of a diva, though. He doesn't like big bones. <laughs> so definitely get a small <laughs> one. Delicate. Then. A tiny thing. Yeah, yeah. definitely okay. get a small one. Like even like they can cut it even like an inch, I think, if you if you ask them to. Oh, OK. OK, well, yeah. those are all great suggestions. Thank you so much. And I guess the vitamin and mineral supplements we don't necessarily need um, to. No. Because, and I give her a church. Yeah. Yeah, I give her chicken gizzards and liver, and I give her um, chicken hearts. Right, like all these are like Something very readily. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so much nutrition, and she's Perfect. great. She's she's excellent. Like she's not deficient in anything. Wow. Okay, Lucky, you named your gym after her, right? Yes, yes. Lucky is the reason why I have a gym to begin with. Really, Lucky, I was yeah, yeah. I was in a very very bad place I was like depressed and I was just struggling and I didn't know what I wanted to do this was during COVID also um and I didn't know what to do I didn't really have much direction and I was like you know and the one thing I knew was I love training I love training I love training people I love training myself that was the one constant and um and I said you know what I was like I always had a garage gym too it was always part of uh that was always like non-negotiable when I bought a house I was like I'm gonna have a garage and and convert it into, into a gym and then during COVID, when all the gyms were closed and everyone was freaking out, they're like, oh my God, we're, what are we going to do? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I was like, guys, I have like a full gym in my garage. Come use my gym. And, uh, and then nobody came. And then <laughs> I said, I will train you and teach you what to do. And everyone came. And that's, and that's how Lucky's gym got started. And Lucky was with me in the garage all the time. Um, and she was helping me train everyone. And that's, and then I called it Lucky's Gym because, I... and she was very therapeutic for everyone that was coming in. Wow. What a beautiful yeah, she story. Would, yeah. Yeah. She was great. And then now, and now we have a brick and mortar location and, and yeah, we're, we're growing. We're doing great. Wow. I love Lucky. it. I never knew that. <laughs> We, yeah. you know, we talk so much about when we talk, about, you know, the diet and everything and all yeah. that kind of stuff. So I love it. 
Thank you so much, Maytel, for sharing your story with us. I hope it inspires people just like it inspired me and gave me hope. Hopefully, also my Hachi has the same success story and not awesome. shared with everybody. So yeah, thank you. And thank you, everybody, for sticking with us. If you like this kind of content, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell icon so YouTube alerts you every time I post a new video. Thank you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, Lucky.